in a cozy cafe adorned with recycled furniture and surrounded by lush green plants. Two passionate environmentalists, Anna and Ben, were deep in conversation about the global environmental protection movement. Sipping on their organic, fair trade coffee, they discussed the various initiatives and their impacts on the planet. Ben, isn't it inspiring to see how people around the world are coming together to protect our environment? Absolutely, Anna. The collective efforts are truly making a difference. What do you think has been the most impactful environmental initiative so far? For me, it's the international agreements like the Paris Agreement. They've set crucial targets for reducing carbon emissions and have brought nations together in the fight against climate change. How about you, Ben? I agree. The Paris Agreement is significant. But I also think grassroots movements have a tremendous impact. Local communities taking action like beach cleanups and tree planting drives, really make a difference at the ground level. That's true. It's the combination of global policies and local actions that create a powerful force for change. The rise of sustainable living practices, like reducing plastic use and adopting renewable energy, has also been encouraging. Yes, and the way businesses are starting to take responsibility for their environmental footprints is also promising. More companies are committing to sustainability and eco-friendly practices. Speaking of businesses, I've noticed an increase in eco-conscious consumerism. People are more aware of the products they buy and prefer brands that prioritize sustainability. This shift in consumer behavior is pushing companies to adopt greener practices. That's a great point, Anna. The power of the consumer should never be underestimated. When people demand sustainable products, Companies are compelled to meet those demands. Ben, considering all these efforts, do you think the impact of the global environmental movement is more significant in terms of policy changes or individual actions? That's a thought-provoking question, Anna. Both policy changes and individual actions are crucial. Policies set the framework and standards for large-scale change, while individual actions create a culture of sustainability that supports these policies. Question. Ben, considering the global environmental movement, do you believe the impact is more significant in terms of policy changes or individual actions? A emphasize the importance of policy changes in driving large-scale environmental protection efforts. b. Highlight the power of individual actions in creating a culture of sustainability. c. Suggest that both policy changes and individual actions are equally important and complementary in the fight for environmental protection. Answer. C. Suggest that both policy changes and individual actions are equally important and complementary in the fight for environmental protection. Ben, I believe option C captures the essence of the environmental movement. Policies provide the necessary structure and enforcement for large-scale change while individual actions foster a culture of sustainability and community involvement. Together, 
They create a comprehensive approach to protecting the environment. That's a great way to put it, Anna. Policies and individual actions reinforce each other, creating a stronger and more effective environmental movement. Exactly. It's like a symbiotic relationship. We need both to ensure a sustainable future for our planet. Continuing their engaging exchange, Anna and Ben delved deeper into how different sectors are contributing to environmental protection and what more can be done. Anna, as we discuss the various efforts, do you think the role of technology in environmental protection has been adequately explored, or is there still untapped potential? That's an interesting question. Ben, technology has already provided us with many tools for monitoring and reducing our environmental impact. However, I believe there's still a lot of untapped potential, especially in areas like renewable energy and waste management. I agree. Innovations like solar panels and wind turbines have revolutionized our energy sector, but there's still so much more we can do. For instance, advancements in battery storage and smart grids could further enhance our energy efficiency. Question. Anna. Considering the role of technology in environmental protection, do you think its potential has been fully realized, or are there still significant advancements to be made? A. Argue that technology has already provided substantial tools for environmental protection, and we should focus on optimizing current technologies. B. Suggest that there is still untapped potential in technology particularly in areas like renewable energy and waste management. C. Propose a balanced view, acknowledging the current achievements of technology while recognizing the ongoing need for further innovation. Answer. C. Propose a balanced view. Acknowledging the current achievements of technology while recognizing the ongoing need for further innovation. Anna, I'd go with option C while we've made significant strides with technology in environmental protection. There's still a lot of potential for further advancements. We need to both optimize our current technologies and continue innovating to address new challenges. I couldn't agree more, Ben. Technology is a powerful tool, and we must continue to harness its potential for the betterment of our planet. Ben, as we've discussed the role of technology and the importance of policies and individual actions, do you think the media is doing enough to raise awareness about environmental issues? That's a compelling question, Anna. The media plays a crucial role in shaping public opinion and raising awareness. While there have been many positive efforts, I think there's always room for improvement. What's your perspective? I believe the media has made great strides in highlighting environmental issues, but sometimes the coverage can be inconsistent. More consistent and in-depth reporting could help keep these issues at the forefront of public consciousness. True and social media has become a powerful platform for spreading environmental awareness. It allows for real-time updates and grassroots mobilization, which can amplify the impact of environmental campaigns. Question. Anna, 
Considering the influence of the media, do you think it is doing enough to raise awareness about environmental issues? Or could it do more to keep these issues at the forefront of public consciousness? A. Argue that the media has made significant efforts in raising awareness, and it's having a positive impact. B. Suggest that while there have been positive efforts, the media could do more to consistently highlight environmental issues. C. Propose a balanced view, acknowledging the media's efforts while recognizing the need for more consistent and in-depth coverage. Answer. C. Propose a balanced view. Acknowledging the media's efforts while recognizing the need for more consistent and in-depth coverage. Anna, I see merit in option C. The media has indeed made significant efforts to raise awareness about environmental issues, but there's always room for more consistent and comprehensive coverage to keep these issues top of mind. I agree. Ben, the media's role is crucial in shaping public opinion and driving action. More consistent reporting could help sustain the momentum of the environmental movement. Absolutely. By keeping environmental issues in the spotlight, the media can inspire more people to take action and support policies that protect our planet. As they wrapped up their conversation, both felt inspired by the exchange of ideas and perspectives, reinforcing their commitment to contributing to the global environmental protection movement. Anna and Ben left the cafe with a renewed sense of purpose and a deeper understanding of the role each person can play in protecting the environment eager to continue their efforts and inspire others along the way. Here are five words and phrases related to the theme of the global environmental protection movement. Sustainability. The practice of maintaining ecological balance by avoiding depletion of natural resources. Grassroots movements. Community-driven efforts to address environmental issues at the local level. Renewable energy. Energy sourced from natural processes that are constantly replenished, such as solar and wind power. Eco-conscious consumerism. The preference for products and services that are environmentally friendly. Policy frameworks. Structured guidelines and regulations designed to protect the environment on a large scale.